Madri Exceptionnel. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I don't know why the fuck I'm doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. This is a beer. Well, if you look at the front of it, 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 it gives the impression that it's a, a foreign beer from Spain. And you could argue that it is, but don't be fooled. This is Molson Coors. They're doing a, they're doing a collaboration with a Spanish brewery called La Sagra. And this is it. This is what they've come up with. Now, I picked this up in Skunk Central round the corner. And I hadn't seen it before. I thought, it's different. It looks foreign. I'll pick it up. It wasn't too expensive. Got it home. Read the back. Molson Coors. And I've come to the conclusion now that if you can find beer, there are a couple of exceptions, and I'll go into that in a sec. But if you can find beer in your local Premier Inn, your local Londis, any of the small supermarkets that look a bit exotic and they sound foreign, they're not. They're either distributed by Molson Coors, ABN Bev, or one of them big conglomerates. The exception being Budvar, which I have it on reasonable authority that it's still brewed in the Czech Republic. So how they're getting it over here in such vast numbers, I do not know. I had a bottle the other night and it really wasn't good. And I've been drinking cans of it lately. The fella around the corner has dis decided to get cans in and it tastes great out of a can. Out of the bottles, I don't think it's that great. And it's, this is the second time I've had it out of a bottle when the, the cans haven't been available. I've gone over there tonight and he hasn't got any cans. I'm watching the West Ham game tonight. We're playing Leon away. Hopefully beat them. It's one all. Had a fucking corrupt ref in the first leg. I'm not going to go into it, but calm, calm. It's all level pegging. Hopefully we can win this one. Hence the top. If you don't like West Ham, tough. But we are where we are at the moment. But this stuff, I haven't got a lot of hope for. If it's got molten cores written all over it, you know it's going to be brewed in Burton on Trent. This hasn't seen any Spanish ingredients at all. It's been brewed over here. And pff, I think it's just going to be your average macro brewed lager. Now, I've been proved wrong in the past, obviously. I'm not infallible. And uh, Marston's was the most recent one with their levy. They called it a Scottish ale, but it was more like a mild and a very good mild as well. I was quite impressed with that. But and the Tetley, the Tetley lager. I mean, that wasn't the worst lager in the world. Certainly wasn't the best, but it surprised me considering who who brewed it. So yeah, it ain't. I, I don't have high hopes for it. Now, if you look at the front, they've got a picture of some fucking twat in a waistcoat and a, a dog tooth waistcoat and a flat cap with a fucking rose and a tattoo of an anchor on his neck. I mean, fuck off, will ya? It's supposed to be reminiscent of something in Spain or in Madrid. It was called the chul they were called chulapos and they were basically people who were quite dapper. I suppose you'd call the equivalent over here would be I imagine spivs from the 1940s, they're always well dressed, bit dodgy, bit cheeky, and that's what they've tried to sort of emulate on this on this label, on this bottle. Apparently, that's what they call some people from Madrid now, chulapos, don't know why, but it must go back to all this. They seem to have a dog tooth theme going on there, dog tooth on the... Um, on the on the on the cap and it's it's got it on the on the neck label as well. I don't know. I just think it's pure marketing, to be honest. That La Sagra they've got them down as a craft brewer, so they've done a collaboration with Molson Coors. So yeah, Molson Molson Coors are probably going to fuck them up now, as they have done with most other companies that they've bought out or most other breweries they've bought out. I should say. 
Anyway, let's not rant about Molson Coors and all the big macro brewers. Let's get and investigate this beer. Right, this is a 4.6% beer. It's 660 mils. I don't know, they keep doing that in, well, certainly Molson Coors do in some of their beers. They've got, um, I think Star of Primal, I think that's brewed in Burton on Trent as well. I think that's Molson Coors. Don't ever fucking buy that. Honestly, the stuff you get in the Czech Republic and the stuff you get over here is completely fucking different. Don't think you're drinking a Czech lager. Um, yeah, as I say, this is 4.6%, it's 660 mil bottle. I'm just looking at the ingredients. It's got loads of spiel about where Molson Coors are based. They're based in the Republic of Ireland. They're based in Spain. There's a company in Spain. Well, it mentions La Sagra in Spain, and it contains barley and wheat. And this was another thing that's fucking starting to wind me up now. Brewers, can you just please list the real ingredients in the beer? I don't know what it is with beer, but every other food stuff, you have to list every single ingredient, even the preservatives, the E-numbers, the fucking lot, especially in food. Beer seems to get a pass. I don't know why that is. Now, it's not that I'm concerned about what's in there. Well, I am concerned about what's in there. But being a fucking beer geek, like me, and I'm sure there's others out there, we'd like to know what we're actually fucking putting in our bodies. So, how about just listing the fucking ingredients on the side? I need to calm down. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Yeah, that's about it, really. Yeah, it's... <sighs> fucking contains wheat. Why would you brew a lager and put wheat in it? I don't get that. I really don't. But yeah, there you go. I mean, it's got all the... Cerveza Exceptional. If you're going to call this exceptional, it better fucking be exceptional, otherwise you're going to fucking feel my wrath. Let's get it open and see if it is exceptional. Right. I don't give a fuck if this mangles the cap up. It's going to be shit. There it is. Dog tooth. That is the pattern of it. That smells nasty. Now, Spain isn't renowned for its fantastic beer. I had some of that Estrella Galicia. No, not the Galicia, it was just the Estrella Dam yesterday. I mean, that's, that is okay-ish. I wouldn't say it's great, but it ain't the best beer in the world. Um, I've got this in a pint glass. All my other glasses have disappeared now. I've got a German mate coming over next week. I've bought him a couple of... Couple of glasses, got hold of one of them for him. Sam Smith, won't go wrong with him. Questionable attitudes in the workplace by them. Not as bad as Brewdog, but questionable. Wow, that head is really white. That is really white head. That is fucking exceptionally white. Maybe that's what the exceptional means in it. But it is, it's, it's proper white. And I'm not, <laughs> I don't want to keep going on about it, but I don't think I've ever seen a fucking head as white as that. Like washing up foam. Oh, fucking hell, what'd you get there? Just the, the usual macro brewed smell of beer. Slightly grainy. Little touch of sweet corn on there. But nothing to write home about. I think this is gonna taste exactly how I think it's gonna taste. Let's get it down the hatch. Wish me luck. That's quite sweet. Like it's got some kind of syrup in there. Now this is really cold, it's just come out of the fridge. There's nothing in that, really. There's like a, I wouldn't say bready, but it's like a, a grainy, more of a grainy type flavor to it. Some slight lemon on it. There's a sweetness to it, which I think is some kind of glucose.
definite sweet corn on there. Um, it's ice cold. I can still get them sort of, I don't know, it just doesn't, they call it clean and crisp. If you look at the the website, the brewery hasn't got a website, believe it or not. If you look up La, La Sagra, all you see is their, um, the news that they're collaborating with Molson Coors on this shit. That is definitely not exceptional. It's just average run of the mill. Now it's not a chuck down a sink job. It's and it, believe it or not, I I will have to say this now, and I never thought I would say this, but that beer, that Budvar I had the other night, it was a green bottle. I got it from Skunk Central around the corner. Um, fuck knows how long it had been sitting in that fridge. But my missus came into the room and she says, "God, it smells like um." It smells like cannabis in here. And I went, yeah, that'll be that beer. And of course, classically skunked beer, it was, and it did not taste nice at all. As it warmed up slightly, oh, it was fucking vile. I think I ended up throwing it, most of it down the sink. And I've never done that with the cans. So again, I'm gonna reiterate, if you're gonna drink Budvar, always buy it in cans. Don't buy it in the bottles. In fact, don't buy any beer that's in green bottles. It's, it's just so fucking dodgy. If you get one that isn't skunked, you've, you've, to coin an American phrase, you have lucked out. There you go. But this shit, uh, there's just nothing to make me ever wanna buy this again, to be honest. It's cold and it's wet and it vaguely, resembles the taste of lager but I don't think I'll ever be buying this again I see you can get it in the supermarket now for 185 for 660 mil um, Morrison's do it I'd rather pay the extra and just get a bottle of 500 mil Hofbrau at least I'm going to enjoy it you know quality and quantity go a long way in my view and I don't care how much you get if you if you get a load of shit, it just means you've got more to pour down the sink. I'd rather drink a 500 mil bottle of decent lager than 660 mil of absolute fucking dog shit. Now this is an absolute dog shit, but I'm not really enjoying it. There's nothing to make that stand out at all. The sweetness on it does remind me a little bit of Cobra. It's got that that sweetness going on, but there's also the, as I say, a little bit of lemon. But there's that there's that sweet corn in it and the syrupy sweetness that it's got. And I just, pff, nah, this definitely is not exceptional. <laughs> So what's the verdict on Madri Exceptional? Well, in a word, fucking pants. It's typical Mosin course fare. It's just brewed on a big scale. I mean, they can say all they want about collaborating with a craft brewer, but it's just got macro written all over it. Not impressed, nothing to make me wanna buy it ever again. Will this go down a sink? Um, I don't know. I've got a few Bengal lancers in the fridge and some honeydew, so what do I do? Do I drink this or do I drink them? I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm, no, yeah, I'm, to be honest, I'm probably going to pour that down the sink. I just, I don't see the point. What What are you doing that's making, or Molson Coors, this is directed at, what are you doing to make this taste any different to what you brew. The thing is with macro brewers, they get huge discounts. They buy in bulk. When I say bulk, I mean bulk. So this is, these ingredients that they use, hop extract, maybe even hop oil, if you're lucky. Um, certainly not whole leaf hops, I wouldn't, or whole hops, I wouldn't, I'd wager that they don't use them at all. The malt, malt extract, wheat, whatever fucking shit they want to throw in it, fucking, 
toenails and fucking bus tickets or whatever. I don't know. I just, I, well, I do know. I mean, it's to sell to gullible punters who think they, that this is some kind of exotic fucking beer when the reality is it's brewed up in Burton-on-Trent on a fucking huge scale. Got some fancy marketing around it, but it ain't, it ain't fooling me. It's just typical macro brewed fair, and I ain't impressed by it. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. Now, the reason I'm not giving it a 0 or a 1 is because it's not the worst. I've definitely tasted worse. I mean, to be honest, that Budvar in the bottle the other night, I know I keep going on about it, but that was really bad. I've got another one in there. I don't know what I might do with that. I don't know, break it against the side of a ship or something. But this stuff, I don't know. Maybe if you're used to, you know, the stuff that's brewed over here on a big scale, maybe that will appeal to you. Maybe that's why they've done it. It's slightly sweeter, so people may like that because it's got that sweeter flavour, but it's just fucking syrup that they've put in there, some kind of syrup, and yeah, yeah I've seen that, that glucose, I don't even know where it's glucose syrup, but they do that with um, the Holston Pils that you get over here. I mean, it's fuck all like a Pilsner. It's sweet. When the fuck do you get sweet Pilsners? Oh, will I ever stop ranting? I've got the fridge is bare. I bought some beers for the, to watch the match tonight, and I've got to review. I've got some fucking Christmas IPA. I, I don't know. I just can't fucking bring myself to review it, but I will do at some point. It'll be a rant, not as bad as this. Well, maybe it'll be worse. Uh, I've got a can of Orangey Boom, eight percent Orangey Boom. I saw that man called. Why the fuck I bought that? But again, that's going to be another fucking rant because that's going to take a lot of bag ladies. Period. I'm sure of it. But this stuff, yeah, Molson cause Leopards don't change their spots. And that's what they're doing. They're brewing oh, just bad beer. I know I rant and rave and all that, but I just, I don't know, just, just don't fucking buy it. It's the equivalent of a fucking microwave meal. You know, if you're used to making food from scratch, then that's the equivalent of a fucking microwave meal. It's just dog shit. Don't bother. Don't punish yourself. Don't waste your money. Just get yourself down to the supermarket. Get some decent stuff. Don't waste your money on this bollocks. It's all flim flam and marketing. You know, some ponce in a fucking waistcoat. Fuck off. This will be Molson Coors, this will. Hello. 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 Hello, it's Yeah, she is. She's got your chips, so hurry your ass up. I've literally just left Right, run. Like you've never run before. Why am I going to run? <laughs> How are you going to run? Put your fucking one foot in front of the other. No, Quickly. Run. Because she's got your chips and they're going to go cold. Yeah, I'm literally off the road. I'm not running. I've been work all day. Right, well, we'll run and we'll walk quickly then. Why am I going to walk quickly? It's fine. Right. What do you mean, how are you going to walk quickly? Put one foot in front of the other very quickly. No, I said, why am I going to walk quickly? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I'll see you when you get in, alright? Alright. Alright, that. No. Oh, ran over. Anyway. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. I'm being very fucking generous there. No, I'm not. I'm, going to, I'm lying to you. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. I think that's about the best it's going to do. I'm probably going to pour it down the sink because I'm not going to punish myself. I'm going to have some some of the other decent beer that I've got in there. And I will probably be reviewing the Orangey Boom next. Or you may see me up in York. I'm going to York at the weekend. I may do a few little reviews there. I'm going up there with a mate and his missus and my missus and, and uh, his missus and all that. So... I might do a little on-the-spot reviews. I'm going to the House of Trembling Madness. Might do a little tour of there. And on the Tuesday I come back, this is the Easter weekend, so on the Tuesday I come back, I'm going to be picking up a load of beer off my German mate. He's got me, I think, 35 bottles of German beer. Who fucking rah. Watch this space. And remember, I'm drinking this shit, so you don't have to.